Hey guys and dolls, so a few weeks ago I did a tutorial called Tinker Hell and it was sort of like a twist on the traditional concept of Tinkerbell, it was kind of gothic and sexy. In the comment section a lot of you mentioned that you loved the concept and you would love for me to do a series of Disney princesses, maybe with like kind of a wicked theme, maybe with just like a modern interpretation or you know whatever, so I decided, duh, that's an awesome idea. <laughs> and I've actually been planning on doing a Disney princess series for quite some time, however I always had that sailor Moon series monkey on my back. So anyway, now that that's done, we can do this. And I'm really, really excited about it. I, I Like most girls my age and, and older than me and younger than me, I grew up with Disney princesses. It wasn't an actual franchise when I was a kid, but I will never forget the day that I bought my first Disney princess movie. It was magical and when I get to that princess I will share the story. Um, for Belle I remember I got the D the not the DVD the VHS for Christmas which is why I kind of decided to do sort of a Christmassy look. Um, the gold is inspired by her beautiful gold dress and the, ro the red is inspired by the rose in the story. A look that you can always tailor make for yourself you know a gold eye and a red lip works on like literally everyone you just have to find your version. In the info box I'll have a full list of all the Disney princesses included with this series as well as the unofficial princesses which will also be included not like every single possible female character from Disney but there are some unofficial official Disney princess type things and then as I upload each video I will have their uh, the link to their video next their name to make it nice and convenient for you guys so anyway I think that's pretty much it I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial I had a blast creating it for you I think it's perfect for this time of year or anytime you just want to throw on some glitter and some red lips and have a hot time hot time Thank you guys so much for watching my tutorials and supporting me. I love you guys so, so, so much. If you'd like to learn how I created this look with mostly drugstore products, then let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to start out today from top to bottom. It's one of the easiest ways to map out your placement if you're a little unsure of where everything should go. And I'm starting this out with a flat shade, shadow shader brush thingy and the I Heart Matte Palette. Now the colors I'm using from it are really basic and you can find from any company, but um, I am using this palette FYI. I'm going to start with the white eyeshadow and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that on this shader brush and run that right at the peak of my brow. Now, If you have deeper skin than me, you might not want to use something so white, but because I am so very fair, uh, this would be pretty much the equivalent of using this shade for everyone else. Unless you're fair like me, in which case this would be a good option. Then I'm going to get a big fluffy petal brush like this. I'm just kind of share the love, blend it out, blend it down. And then with that same brush, I'm going to pick up the skin tone highlight shade from the palette and then put that right under where we had the white. Sort of blend them together so that way it's not as stark white, but having the white as a base creates that highlight eyebrow lifted thing we're trying to go for. So again with the I Heart Matte palette, I'm going to take this sort of fleshy cantaloupe orangey shade. It's very similar to Max Teta Tint or um, it's kind of like soft brown or bamboo but it's a little bit more orange than both of those. You probably have a dupe for it lying around in one of your various palettes. So I have that on a round eyeshadow brush like this and I'm actually going to start it in my inner corner and rock that across the entire socket line. Just gonna windshield wiper motions. It makes it very easy to apply it in some little circular ones to deepen it slightly on the outer half. But that way you sort of create the illusion of a deeper crease. This is what I like to call a background color. So we're going to be adding two different other colors in the crease to actually add depth to the crease. But this one just kind of lays the framework. It's a backup singer if you will. Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with Swiss Chocolate from MAC and a more pointed uh, blending eyeshadow brush. This shadow is going to go right in the crease, but we're going to place the emphasis on the outer half of the corner to create the illusion that our lid is pushed further back. Now, if you have a deeper um, set crease than I do, you might not even need to use this shade per se because your eye might create that shadow for you. Mine doesn't. Mine kind of just hangs. So we're going to create that illusion with a deeper tone than this one here. Starting that right here in the outer corner. We're going to rock that in our socket one more time. Just really sort of almost press it in and then kind of swirl it around. I 
And then just to make sure that everything is transitioning nicely, pick up that same brush that we used the sort of peach shade on. And just make sure the edges of that are transitioning softly into the highlighted portion of the eye. Let's see. And now back to the iHeart Matte Palette, we're going to use the Dark Chocolate Brown here. Now this color is pretty dark, so we want to use it sparingly, so I'm just going to use the very, very tip of this brush to pick it up. And then tap, make sure you click off or tap off all the extra. And then we're going to take it right here in the outer V or the outer C or whatever letter of the alphabet you like to describe this little outer corner piece thingy. Anyway, swirl it right in that... I like to kind of call it deep crease because it's just a very thin piece that you use here to define the crease. Little swirly motions help to make the blend delicious. This brush really helps, oh my gosh. This is uh, the new Sigma kit, the Cities kits. Um, this one is the tapered blending E45, but this one's way more tapered than their previous editions. So I, and I've only had it for like a day or two, so I don't know if it's gonna fan out. But so far, mommy likes. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna do something that's considered kind of taboo. We're going to use a pressed eyeshadow wet. Now, typically you can use uh, like baked eyeshadows like this wet, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, but with pressed eyeshadows, you generally don't want to because they develop this crust. I don't know if you if I flash it, you can see that little extra shiny part. That's where it's developed a little bit of a crust, or just it's hard in that spot now because it's been applied wet. So it's not going to have the same color payoff when you use it dry, like the. Seven Deadly Sins or whatever, the original Vanity Palette and Greed and Lust and blah blah blah. Anyway, the shiny eyeshadows didn't have the amazing texture that some of the later editions have, so um, it, I just find they work better wet, so yeah. Anyway, long explanation, but it's important to mention why, because I always get questions about it. Anyway, uh, to wet my brush, I'm going to use Fix Plus from MAC, and then we're picking up this gold color, which is strikingly similar to MAC's gold mine, FYI. And then we're going to apply that on the lid. Like seriously, do you see how amazing that is? Oh, love it. Love it. And I am placing that, sorry guys, I'm just like going to town enjoying myself. I'm placing that right on that lower part of the lid. So now you see where we created that darkness and the deep crease. We open our eye, it really gets pushed back. This gets pushed forward. Our eyes look more open. It's awesome. Now if you have a more prominent lid and you want your eye to appear darker, something you could do is take the darker color further down or even uh, like do like a little section like this where it comes darker and then blends to that deeper color onto the lid to make it recede a little bit. I try to make my eyes look as big as possible most of the time, so I'm doing this. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the buttery yellow color that's above it and just place that right next to our gold and then go back over it with our gold so it doesn't get too frosty pale. And then go over that with this blending brush that we used for the orange earlier and blend out the butter gold so that it has a nice smooth transition. One last gold to add to the mix. I'm going to take this color from the uh, Comfort Zone palette. This is sort of like a bronzy gold. And I'm taking that on the side that wasn't directly sprayed with Fix Plus so it's not super wet. And I'm just going to place that here in the outer corner. This would be great for those of you with the prominent lid. You could even use this all over the lid if you really wanted to recede it. Although honestly I would celebrate it personally, but you know, what of. And then just make sure again that it's all blended. Alright, so now it's eyeliner time. I'm going to use one of these Milani Liquify pencils. If you have some of these, you know they're very, very soft, almost like a gel uh, liner in a pencil form. So that's exactly how I used it today. I just picked some up on this brush. This is a little teeny tiny baby brush. It's a MAC 208. It's one of my favorite liner brushes. Um, but anyway, I'm just using that to press the color into my lashes. I didn't want a very thick line and I didn't want to have to sharpen my pencil to waste it. So this is a great way to maximize your product is just to use a brush to apply it. 
the line doesn't need to be super defined. It's the look that I'm personally going for. I feel like a, you know, really defined line each time you do liner, that's fine. I find that a more diffused liner tends to uh, look a little softer. And since this is a soft look I'm going for, makes sense. Alright, so now I'm just pulling down super gently on my eye and tight lining. Now I'm taking the same brush that I used to do the brown on the top lid, and I'm going to use it with this um, Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes, and the color is 10L. This is also another super buttery liquid, or like gel-like pencil thingamajig. This is kind of like a coppery gold bronze shade. It's kind of delicious, one of my faves, just saying. Anyway, I'm going to take that right here on the bottom lash line. right up against it and taking that all the way in. So basically what we have at this point, you can throw on some mascara and some red lips and you have a really great holiday look, but I personally am here to go for the gold glitter. Okay, so anyway, that was cheesy. Um, today I'm using NYX Hot Gold Glitter. It's sort of like a... Uh, well it is a gold glitter that reflects like a rainbow of shades very similar to like max 3d gold glitter or 3d silver um, I think more people are familiar with that shade um, but they're basically the same concept it has a base color that is gold silver copper whatever and then it reflects rainbow colors I'm gonna use my finger yeah we're gonna we're gonna go there but Purell keep it sanitary you know as my dad would say keep it clean so we're gonna take our lit cosmetics glitter base shake it up Get most of the liquid off because it gives you a lot. And just pat that over the bright gold parts of the lid. And then shake some glitter onto your finger, like this. And then pat that over the glitter base. Now it's time for some mascara. I'm going to use one of my favorites. This is Max Hot and Naughty Mascara. And I'm going to use the naughty side. So now that the eyes are done, I finished up with the cheeks. Um, I already had some blush on earlier. I was wearing Max Stunner. This is a limited edition. But I decided to spruce it up with a little bit of uh, pr uh, Prism, which is a little bit more of a neutrally kind of blush. Honestly, whatever you have that you love that works for you, it's killer. Um, so for lips today, I'm going to go ahead and go for that kind of cheesy holiday kind of look where it's like gold and red. It seems kind of obvious. It's a good combo, which is why it's obvious, which is why it keeps coming back and it's sort of cyclical. Due to the nature of, you know, I'm using my lips to apply my lip product and I have to use my lips to talk, I really can't explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it with the lips. So I'll just go ahead and walk you through it with this voiceover. Hello, how you doing? Uh, so I'm using a brush. This is a 228 by MAC. It's actually an eye brush, but I like it for lips. And I'm using it to apply MAC's Pro Long Wear Lip Cream, and the shade is Pro Long. Not the most inventive name, but it is my favorite red lipstick, so I'll let it go. And I'm just applying that all over the lips. Uh, this is quite a detailed process to paint your lip red, so we're just going to fast forward to the end where it's done. One of these days I will do a red lip tutorial, but that day is not today, unfortunately. So once you have the red lipstick all over your lips and it's nice and balanced and you're happy with the shape and yada yada yada, um, I'm taking a little bit of I Heart You, which is one of the Milani Baked Mineral Eyeshadows, and a big fluffy brush. I'm just patting that all over the lip to give it a metallic kind of look, so it's a little bit more special than a traditional just red lip. So that's a complete look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a blast creating it for you. I love Beauty and the Beast so very, very dearly when I was a little girl. And yeah, I'm just really excited to be doing this Disney Princess series now. And if you'd like to learn more information about the princesses that I've already done, the, a full list of them will be in the down bar for you. A list of products and everything will always be on my blog whenever I do a tutorial. And generally, I will also include a list of products in my blog. So I think that's pretty much it. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself.